Shopify is a global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. And sell more with less effort thanks to the Shopify magic, your AI-powered all-star. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash redcircle, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash redcircle now to grow your business, no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash redcircle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wrestling Art with Chris Things. Do the hammer line. Welcome back. Welcome to another edition of Wrestling Art with Chris Things. Uh, I am Chris Things Brian, and uh, this is a little old show. Uh, I guess this is kind of a little bit of a, a special show, if you call it that, depending on how you look at these things. <laughs> this has ended up uh, one of those one of those kind of solo show deals, you know. Uh, so you know, sometimes with this doing a podcast thing. I've got to have a new podcast out every week, or at least I, you know, I don't have to. But to me, that's that's my promise to you, you know, so I, I really don't want to disappoint. Um, I want you to be able to expect when the things come out, when they come out, so that's what I do. Um, but yeah, so I, uh, I, was, I was trying to line up a, a guest uh, this week that I'm very excited about, um, and it, uh, it didn't, didn't quite work out with their schedule. Uh, so, sort of, you know, sometimes these last minute cancellations happen, uh, but hopefully I'll have something for your next little bit on that. But in the meantime, you know, I still wanted to, to do a little something, so I figured I'd just have one of these, uh, one of these talking to you guys kind of episodes, you know? I, um, I do have some things <laughs> that, uh, that I thought I'd, um, I'd, I'd, I'd have that might be might be interesting topics of conversation here uh, in the in the world of wrestling art um i last week i i spoke a bit about the kind of like disappointments that we can have a little bit along this art road um you know i i mean me <laughs> at least uh, you know i I'm I'm trying to do this as a full time job, um, and there's there's a lot of stresses that come with that, um, and and looking forward to try to you know this is this is my life's dream you know and trying to trying to make that uh, um, a viable you know sustainable uh, life in terms of income come going forward. Uh, it can be a scary thing, and you have you know some things that don't quite live up to expectations, as we were speaking about last time. But you just keep on on going forward, I think, and and try to focus more on those positives, and then change what you can that's in your power. Um, but so then then this past week, uh, it's it's so funny how things happen. Um, you know, it, uh, this past week I had the Lucha Fantastica Brisbane show. Uh, this this past Saturday, um, and my gosh, it it couldn't have been more opposite of the <laughs> the last one that was a bit less than my expectations. This this insanely superseded my expectations of of how bloody lovely it went. Um, you know, so many amazing people that I got to chat to. Uh, you know the 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 financial element of it went went really really well. Um, I you know had a, a bunch of of absolutely amazing people by you know a whole bunch of prints. Um, you know a bunch of original artworks and paintings as well, uh, which is just uh, just mind blowing. You know people come into a <laughs> to a, a Brisbane Mexican wrestling show and then they they walk out with a you know. A, several hundred dollar painting uh you know that that means a lot to me uh but yeah it it sort of made me made me really think a little bit and 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 then as well you know another part that just warmed my heart was was getting to see some of my 
uh, my, my loyal friends that I've made along this art journey, uh, you know, who've, who've supported me, uh, who, who came along uh, on on that uh, that Saturday as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, I it, it honestly, it, it's so funny. You look at this stuff, and it's almost like... Th- at those moments when you when you're probably feeling a bit low, it's almost like those are the times when something comes to to just pick you back up. So, um, honestly, it was it was such an absolutely wonderful event. Uh, I I talked to um, Signor Fantastico, the, the gentleman that that runs the show uh, at the end of the evening. Um, and yeah, I was I was just so happy, and I I told him that uh, you know my my heart was full uh, after after this night, and I, and I really meant that. Um, so yeah, it's just so funny the way the timing of this stuff works. It's a it's a bloody roller coaster, guys. <laughs> I I feel like this um that's that's the nature of of um you know trying to be an artist, trying to be an illustrator. Uh, you're gonna have some times when you know things uh, are a bit low and uh, and you know things might not be be looking all that positive and then you have some wonderfully positive thing uh, come along as well so it's a it's a strange world we live in um, but I think it that gives all the more importance to taking care of yourself from a, a mental health standpoint um, you know, trying to to take a moment to breathe, uh, to maybe reset, to you know recalibrate and 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 you know let yourself a little calm down a little bit sometimes when you might get a bit wound up about things and say okay you know that might not have been great, um, but that doesn't mean everything is going to be awful going forward and you know there's there's things that that we can do to improve it, so. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, just even basic stuff. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but for me, things as little as, like, going to gym or, or getting out of the house and taking the dogs for a walk when I, when things might get a bit overwhelming um, or, you know, just, just focusing on eating well. Um, and, yeah, the big one for me that I'm such a hypocrite that I never do, that I know makes such a difference is meditation. Uh, so that's, that's something I need to focus a little bit more on, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm taking steps. I'm taking steps to, to improve this because um, that's one of the other things with this art journey. You know, you can you can say you want to do this, but you need to be able to do it in a sustainable manner. And, um, you know, if you're living your life full of anxiety uh, and depression and terror and stress <laughs> at all times... That's not what this thing's meant to be about. Um, so I, yeah, I'm, I'm taking steps, and and I don't know if there's anyone out there that um, you know, this this stuff might be resonating a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I highly recommend just try to try to take a moment to um, be a bit more mindful about stuff, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so that that was a thing. Uh, I was so uplifted from from that Lucha Fantastica event, um, and then I've I've been able to go and jump onto uh, the events page of ChrisThings.com.au, ChrisThings.com.au forward slash events, <laughs> and um, you know update that page. Uh, you know move the the upcoming events that happen to the the past events section and add on some new stuff. Uh, so that's something I thought might be a little bit fun to talk about here. So here's some things on there that I'm pretty, pretty bloody stoked about. A little bit scared, <laughs> to be honest, perhaps. Um, but, you know, I've, uh, I've got something happening in September that I'm not allowed to mention yet. Uh, but that'll be, that'll be on there very, very soon. Um, I, wait, that's not September, that's October. Anyway, (laughs) Uh, then on um, Friday the 18th of October, um, I forgot the, I'm so stoked to announce this, guys. Uh, I was um, delighted uh, to to be, you know, successful in my application uh, for the the Artful Heads self portraiture group exhibition house full of heads 2024 um so 
Artful Heads uh, run a, a fantastic uh, art magazine here in, in Brisbane. Um, they yeah, they put on a, a tremendous exhibition last year, a uh, self-portrait one, the, the first house full of heads. Um, and, yeah, I, uh, I, I really love their, their stuff. And, um, you know, I thought, hey, this is a little bit different, a little bit different for me to draw my little old wrestlers. Um, and, you know, I've been wanting to make a bit of an effort to try to do more stuff in the sort of, like, fine art sphere, I guess. So applying for this was part of that, of that and, and yeah, I was um, I was really, my, brought a big smile to my face uh, when I saw I was accepted for that one. Um, so I'm going to have a big old uh, self-portrait that I'll be doing for that, for the opening night on the uh, 18th of October at a vacant assembly in, in West End here in Brisbane. And, um, yeah, that's, that's a funny one because last... Um, the last self portrait I did was uh for the the Way of the Blade AEW edition book, which again hopefully that'll be another fun announcement that I get to to give you a a release date in the near future on that one. Um but yeah, before that I couldn't remember the last time I did a self portrait, probably in art school I guess. And it's always a weird thing, you know, painting or drawing yourself. Um, so yeah, I've got a bit of a concept that I submitted to Artful Heads. Um, you know, they, they kind of wanted to get a bit of an idea of what, what kind of uh, painting you're going to be doing. So I gave them a bit of a concept and uh, now I have to make that into a reality. <laughs> so I, that's going to be an interesting experience. Um, I think uh, hopefully it'll be a fun one. Uh, but yeah, I think it'll be super cool to get to... Um, to get to, to to do that, you know, to do something a little bit different, a uh, different kind of challenge, you know. I, I think um, a lot of the time I get a bit nervous about doing the same old thing. Um, I, I obviously with this match of the week deal that I do, I, I think it's important to have consistency and I think that's really cool, like the whole idea of that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm stoked to be able to, to do something a little bit different, a little bit outside of this, uh, you know, wrestling art sort of thing. I mean, this whole podcast is meant to be about wrestling art, so I don't want to try to minimise the importance of that. Uh, but yeah, I, um, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that one, uh, to be honest. I um... Shopify is a global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business and sell more with less effort thanks to the Shopify magic, your AI-powered all-star. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash red circle, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash red circle now to grow your business, no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash red circle. When you need mealtime inspiration, it's worth shopping Kroger, where you'll find over 30,000 mouth-watering choices that excite your inner foodie. And no matter what tasty choice you make, you'll enjoy our everyday low prices, plus extra ways to save, like digital coupons worth over $600 each week. You can also save up to $1 off per gallon at the pump with fuel points. More savings and more inspiring flavors make shopping Kroger worth it every time. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Fuel restrictions apply. I'm also uh, stoked that following that, I uh, have uh, an event coming up in November on, from the 8th to 10th. I'm going to be doing Supernova, guys. Uh, so Supernova for you all overseas is kind of like the big Australian like Comic-Con, I guess, kind of kind of deal. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be selling my art there. I'm going to have a, a little... Um, new launch item that I need to get working away at uh, between you and me for that event. Uh, so super excited for that. I think that's going to be a massive weekend, um, but uh, very excited about the challenges of that. And then up in December, we're going to be having the, the Oddities and Curiosities Expo here in Brisbane. Um, now, that is a, a touring sort of like expo convention focused on the, the you know, 
basically all things weird. Uh, so I feel that's that's you know quite up my alley, and uh, it feels all coming back home because the the last year's oddities and curiosities expo in Brisbane was kind of the start of this whole real change of my art practice where it was my first like in person event the first one that I had my art table the first one that I designed my my Chris things table runner um you know that I worked out how I was going to display my prints like all that kind of stuff so uh feels good to be coming back to it a year later and I'm expanding not only am I doing Brisbane uh but I'm also doing the the Sydney weekend and the Melbourne weekend uh so that's going to be a huge December of being a travelling carny uh, which I've kind of gotten used to now, uh, but I'm I'm pumped for it. I'm really looking forward to it, um, and it makes me really happy being able to do more stuff in Melbourne, more stuff in in Sydney as well as as Brisbane, of course, and being able to know that in these different places, I've sort of got different pockets of uh, of loyal fans, and uh, and that warms my heart as well. You know, the idea that. Uh, there's uh, there's folks out there that'll actually come out to to check out my uh, my art <laughs> and uh, just even just being able to have a chat and catch up and say hey how you doing you know how you've been uh, what what wrestling are you watching these days uh, you know I love it so very very excited about that uh, one other thing that I want to uh, promote I guess is not for me but um, for a previous uh, guest that I had on this show. I'm not sure if uh, all of you guys checked it out. If you haven't, please go back and do it. But my interview with uh, Jonathan McBurney uh, on the, the curator edition of this show, we are talking all about his amazing art practice, uh, running the, the Rockhampton Museum of Art, um, amazingly talent, talented and tremendously nice fellow, uh, but he's actually got a solo show coming up in Brisbane on the the 5th of, uh, of September, uh, so I think that's next week, um, but I'm going to make sure to be there, it's in, it's in South Brisbane at uh, Merivale Studios, um, you know, I want to go along, I want to get to meet Jonathan in person for the first time, I think that'll be pretty cool, um, and yeah, I obviously really dig Jonathan's art as well, so, I mean, if, if you also dig Jonathan's art, if you enjoyed that interview, um, please, please come along, join me, we can have a chat, and, uh, we can, we can get to, get to enjoy this all together, but yeah, I'm super stoked about that, um, and to, to meet Jonathan, but, um, yeah, I I think this has uh, been a, a fun little kind of um, moment for me to look at this overall art career that I'm trying to do right now, and is uh, as much as I have those scary moments, I think it's it's going all in a really really good direction, um, and and I'm super grateful to everyone that supported along the way, um, and continues to do so. Um, I I love my my clients, my loyal clients that I get to do ongoing work for, um, the, they, they mean the world to me, you guys, um, I, uh, you know, that kind of ongoing work really is, is what makes this career sustainable, <laughs> so I, I appreciate you more than you'll ever know, um, I'm, I'm getting to work on a bunch of commission stuff right now that I'm, um, I'm super excited about, and, and uh, it's, it's just really fun to do, you know. <laughs> it still blows me away sometimes that, uh, you know, people want to pay me to um, to create art for them, to do drawings for them. Um, I I remember in, in primary school uh, there used to be a thing when I would, I can't remember what they were, but I'd do these weird little drawings for people um, and uh, they would... They would pay me in lollies. <laughs> um, I don't know, I was like drawing little monsters for them or something and I'd get a warhead or whatever it was, sour perhaps, <laughs> a bit of licorice. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of funny looking back. Even back then I was, you know, I guess this is a natural natural progression in, in a sense. So, yeah, I'm, I'm loving getting to do this, guys. And... Uh, 
Oh, funny little story for you while I'm here. While I'm here before we finish this off. So one thing that's been driving my, my life crazy the last little while uh, has been our washing machine died. Uh, so uh, I don't know if you guys have experienced this, but when something as mundane as a washing machine stops working, it can really disrupt your life because you, you, know, you need to have clean clothes <laughs> to approach life. Um, and so I was originally looking to get someone out to fix it. That looked like it would cost too much. Uh, then, then eventually it was like, all right, let's get a new one. But the problem is the area for our laundry uh, is actually like a, a, a level down from our carport. Uh, and the stairs are too thin to be able to fit this washing machine down the stairs. Uh, so what we ended up doing, I'm buying one from a yard sale. Uh, for like a hundred dollars or something uh, and it uh, actually is a really good looking machine uh, so then uh, the other night when we were gonna watch um, the, the big all-in pay-per-view um, uh, my dear friend uh, Bradley who's, who's been on the show as well as uh, Mitch who was, who was there in the audience uh, for the last uh, wrestling club on our, our show as well in the last episode uh, the sweethearts both came over uh, along with my, my mum and dad and my partner, Kaylin, uh, we're all there trying to lower this washing machine down behind the carport. And in my mind, I really had this all worked out. I was like, all right, we're going to have a pulley system. We're going to have some ropes. We're going to tie this washing machine up. And then we're all going to just slowly lower this down, down the carport. And it's going to be going to be a great, great time. It'll work fine. Um and we're doing it and uh, it seems like it's all fine we have it all wrapped up we're like yeah we got this under control and then the big moment when we're lowering it down uh looks to be okay um and then it very quickly wasn't okay <laughs> the washing machine so dramatically fell and flipped and made the biggest bang sound uh when it hit the the ground a, a floor down um and sometimes you just got to laugh, man, like, oh, yeah, but the best part, let me tell you this, the whole like plastic top of it kind of broke off and there's a massive dint in the back of it. But man, I'm stoked to say that this washing machine so far seems like it still actually works despite that fall. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know if there's some sort of a hidden message there about, uh, you know, hoping for the best and even when bad things happen, you know, just focus on that positivity. And then sometimes, sometimes that washing machine will still work. <laughs> oh, man. I uh, honestly don't know whether you guys enjoy this nonsense uh, or you endure it or you just skip over this stuff entirely. Uh, but whatever you do, I hope, hope it makes you happy. Um, I really appreciate you guys listening to this show. I really appreciate Social Suplex for letting me do this show. Um, you know, socialsuplex.com, uh, home to this podcast and a variety of other rad podcasts such as Keeping It Strong Style, One Nation Radio, All Things. Things Elite, uh, Imps WWE Adventure, the Trish and Sarah podcast, Tunnel Talk, uh, all sorts of things, all sorts of things, uh, whatever whatever wrestling it is you like, I think they've pretty well got you covered, uh, so yeah, thanks again Social Suplex, uh, if any of you would like to buy my art, you can do so at christhings.com.au got all the things on there we've got prints we've got i think we've still got some original paintings up there uh got bloody mugs t-shirts uh i'll be be having some new calendars that i'll have to do now that we're getting more towards uh 2025 which sounds crazy uh and yeah hopefully some other new and exciting little surprises too did i mention t-shirts yeah we got t-shirts too um but yeah all the things and uh so if you want to if you want to buy a chris thing you can if you would like to commission a, a chris things art uh, you know a, a picture of your your favorite match or your favorite wrestler or uh you know bloody a, a gift for a loved one a, a, art of your dog 
your dog is a Mexican wrestler. I don't know. Um, whatever it is, we can make it happen. Uh, I've got a got a very exciting uh, couple of commissions I'm working on at the moment from the weird and wonderful brains of uh, of these uh, much loved clients. So yeah, I'm enjoying it. And that's what I say to all of you. Let's all just focus on enjoying this uh, this creative stuff that we get to do. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. I'll uh, I think we we that's about it for for today's solo edition of the show. I'll see you next week uh, back for our our match of the week edition, and then I think this uh, this wrestling art curator thing is going to be ready to go soon too. All right, till next week, guys. Later! Right.